Turbo the Snail plays a game on a board with 2024 20, rows and 2023 20, columns. There are hidden monsters in 2022 of the cells. Initially, Turbo does not know where any of the monsters are, but he knows that there is exactly one monster in each row, except the first row and the last row, and that each column contains at most one monster. Turbo makes a series of attempts to go from the first row to the last row. On each attempt, he chooses to start on any cell in the first row, then repeatedly moves to an adjacent cell sharing a common side. He is allowed to return to a previously visited cell. If he reaches a cell with a monster, his attempt ends and he is transported back to the first row to start a new attempt. The monsters do not move and Turbo remembers whether or not each cell he has visited contains a monster. If he reaches any cell in the last row, his attempt ends and the game is over. Determine the minimum value of N for which Turbo has a strategy that guarantees reaching the last row on the nth attempt or earlier, regardless of the locations of the monsters. The problem involves exploring a large space of possible paths. Turbo's movement across the 2024-2023 grid represents a significant number of potential routes. The constraints, one monster per row, at most one monster per column, significantly reduce the complexity of the problem. Although the problem is deterministic, it requires considering worst-case scenarios typical in combinatorial optimization. There is only one monster in each other column and in every row. This information is important. If Turbo meets a monster, there is no more monster in other cells in that row and column. He can remember and use his memory in future attempts. There are 2022 20, monsters and the number of columns is 2023. 20, there is no monster at all in one column. Turbo has to find the strategy to finish the game with the fewest attempts in the worst scenario, so he cannot rely on luck. He has to consider the worst possible outcomes and work out the strategy that guarantees to finish the game with the minimal attempts. It is impossible if Turbo has two attempts or less. When Turbo reaches the second row, he can even meet the monster and needs to restart. However, the attempt is not wasted because he knows there is no monster in the other cells in that same row and column. If he can reach the cell in the third row just above the monster, he can take the safe path to reach the last row and finish the game. There are two certain ways to reach that cell, one from the adjacent left column or the other from the adjacent right column. In the second attempt, assume Turbo chooses that adjacent left path and encounters the monster in the third row, in the worst case. So there is no way to finish the game in two attempts. This time Turbo knows there is no monster if he takes the right path, then slides one square to the left and finishes the game in the third attempt. This strategy always works if the monster in the second row is not at the edges of the board. So Turbo can go to the second row from the second column. If he does not meet the monster, he can continue searching in the second row, leaving two edges. If he finds a monster, then he can finish the game in at most three attempts. In case Turbo doesn't meet a monster, he can check one of the border squares in the second row. Assume Turbo checks the left border square and does not find the monster, the monster is in the left border square. If he is unlucky, he finds the monster and needs to restart. In this case, there is only one adjacent path to reach the safe cell above the monster. In the worst case scenario, the ghost can block every diagonal cell and block the only path, so he has to try another strategy. Turbo can still go to the cell in the second row and second column. Instead of going straight up, he can go to the third row from the third column in a zigzag pattern. There are two possibilities. If he doesn't encounter the monster, he can continue the zigzag pattern to reach fourth row, fifth row, and so on, and can finish the game in two attempts, but it depends on great good luck. In fact, it's very likely to meet a monster in this path. He can meet the monster in any cell between the third row and 2022nd row in the second attempt, but it doesn't matter. When Turbo encounters the monster in the second attempt, he knows that the other cells in that row do not have monsters. He can retake the same zigzag path all the way back to the square just before he encounters the monster. Then Turbo can go to the left border column to reach the final row and finish the game in at most three attempts. So Turbo the Snail is guaranteed to finish the game in three attempts.